welcome to Karen and Johnny Do It Bra. Again. Again, yes. This is what, our fourth time? Fifth this time? is episode four or five. We're gonna get it right <laughs> <Sorry>. for you. <laughs> yeah, they're outside. And Johnny brought me gifts as usual. I got a couple of melons as if I needed them, folks. Keep now. it clean. <laughs> and I got a juice from one of our favorite juice bars. It's so good. Us. The yeah. lavender, lavender lemonade. Lavender lemonade. And um, so we're here today and- um, How to not get sick. Right? How to not, and, and, that's you, the and why are you getting sick? You know, that's a big part of it because people, I know people talk to me about, oh, I caught a cold. So then you're trained to believe that the cold came from somewhere out there and it had nothing to do with the ribs and the chicken and the ice cream and the cheese and all the crap you ate. The cold, somebody was sitting in the room and their germ jumped from over there over here on me and oh my God, now I'm sick. Believe me, folks, that is not a reality. You have been marketed agree. into believing that so that you don't have to accept any responsibility. You can continue to do everything you always did and then rely on a chemical to take it away, right? I totally agree. And it's, it's such a, it's really sad, you know, and, and it's not that you're stupid or dumb. It's just the, the marketing of the world and you've fallen asleep because of all the toxicity and you don't realize that you know, illness comes from within out. So if you catch a cold, you didn't catch a cold, you feed it a disease, you feed it, you fed, right. <laughs> you have fed a disease in here right. that's going to cr let you know, it's like going, hey dummy, wake up. You're giving me too much of the wrong thing and not enough of the right thing. That's all your body's basically doing. Just killing your immune system. So I know you suffered from a lot of illnesses I, before you came to this All the time, world. before, yeah. I, Obviously the migraines and the GI issues I had, but I started developing allergies in my late 20s. And I never this, had allergies in and spring this, and fall, this, always. This always. is a epidemic, allergies. You know, when I was going to school, you could take any food you wanted to school because we didn't have to worry about the dust flying on somebody to make them sick. And allergies, according to my teacher, Dr. Wigmore, are all based in digestion. And so everybody's digestive system is so screwed up, so, so overworked, messed up. so taxed. It's the most overused system in the human body. Excellent, exactly. So, you know, everybody's got allergies. I don't know what an allergy is. I had every allergy known to man at one time. I couldn't walk out of the house. I had so many allergies. I don't know what an allergy is anymore, folks. And that's what I was gonna say before, so obviously the allergies, but I was getting your common cold and flu every year too. Yes, and as you know, to that. I do a lot of refereeing, not coaching. So I'm around kids all You're the time in, in the winter. Right, I'm around kids all the time. Little kids that are coughing, sneezing, touching the basketball. And I was always sick. And then coming into this world, taking care of myself, learning how to take care of myself the right way with juices, fruits, right, greens, vegetables. Well, giving, you know what, here it is. Like, I, I, I will just reiterate that because it's so important. If you're not giving the body what it's supposed to have, it's gonna slap you awake and tell you to yeah. do something different. I saw four clients today. I do one-on-one -on -one counseling also. And from cancer to diabetes to high cholesterol, it doesn't matter what name you give it, it's just your body saying, hey, wake up, dummy. You're giving me too much of what I'm not supposed to have and not enough of what I am supposed to have. Exactly. And this is what we found. It's warning signs. It's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's just your body telling you to do something different. So your juicing really jump started because juicing is about as hardcore as you can get to I mean, jump in right away. I mean, you're just concentrating all these greens and it's just such a high concentration flooded into the body rapidly. Oh, so what it's like, a concept, whoa. living foods to make you live and feel alive. Exactly. I mean, it's amazing. So you turned all of that around. Turned everything around. I mean, I, don't, I haven't had a common cold or flu. I mean, I the last time I was sick was when I did my first couple of juice cleanses. I got really sick. I had fever, and I mean, for my and I call those detoxing symptoms. Those are. It's exactly I don't call it sick. I call it detoxing symptoms. The body I, is is uh, turning itself around, and you kind of go through the negative before you get. To and you don't want to suppress that with medication. You want to ride it out. Well, here's the deal. You know, this it's been said for many years. If you take an aspirin to get rid of a headache, it wasn't because your body was lacking an aspirin. It didn't have enough exactly. aspirin. So all of these, and the flu shots, guys, I have to tell you, those terrify me. Yeah. Whenever my people come in, and people, my people, I mean my clients or guests come in and say, oh, I had my flu shot. I go, oh, really? And where'd you have that? Well, this truck pulled up outside, or I went to the CVS, and, and I said, really, you just gave them your arm, and you let them inject something in you, or you took some pills, and you have no idea what it is? That's yeah, that's a that's a funny thing you say because I was just on the live the other day and talking about the flu shot and I have friends that work in the hospital and they'll fire them if they don't get a flu shot, number one. Number two, we live in a world where nothing's free. 
But if you go to a grocery store, it says free flu shot and 20% off your. <laughs> right. So what's the catch? I don't understand. You know, you got well, you got to start putting two and two together. It's yeah, like you got to wake something up. right. You got to wake up. So I don't believe germs are jumping from person to person. I don't believe God made us that fragile. To be honest with you, I mean, my ancestors were in the jungle with zebra poop and everything else around and they were right. walking around sneezing we're just, and coughing. We're just so disconnected. That was another subject is talking about how people are just accepting, you know, eating a certain way and accumulating this over time and then just cutting our bodies open and just ripping out organs yeah. and, yeah. and so on. And that's normal. But a, but a vegan plant-based diet is crazy. <laughs> we're, we're it's the nuts. nuts. It's nuts. Well, he's, you know, he's a, a little newer at this because he's a lot younger than me. But I can honestly say I have not been sick in 40, over 40 something years, about 46 years. I don't know what a cold is, I don't know what a sore throat, I don't know what stomach aches are. I am clumsy, if anybody has followed me, I do fall from time to time. I've, I've seen her though, It's I've never seen you, like even, you've been tired of course, because you're working from, you know. Seven days a week. Yeah, I mean, long hours, but I mean, besides that, her energy is crazy, and I've never seen you even close to being sick. I don't ever. know what illness is, I wouldn't know what to do to be sick. Right. I mean, I, I just isn't a part of my vocabulary. I do detox my body four or five times a year without fail. You yeah. know, that's that's my go-to. I, I think adding also, food is probably one of the biggest parts, but also stress and protecting oh, your energy, right? The people you're around, the environment mm, you're in. That's a good one. Learning how to, you know, going out in nature. That's one of my best medicines is always being out in nature, uh, connecting and... Uh, and you wear very little clothes so you can really get the nature. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Get he barefoot, he barefoot. Wear shoes most of the time. No, I'm there. always walking barefoot. I'm all about earthing yeah. and collecting those antioxidants from the earth. Absolutely. Well, you know releasing what I, all that stress and anxiety. Down to the earth. Well, totally. what I do is where I've traveled to, all, to many places around the world, I will collect stones or rocks. I have them in my bathroom. And that's what I've I been use doing in my that shower. Too. Well, you taught me to do that. And that's what I scrub my skin with because it's got all the minerals and all the words and all the life of, of right. millions of years in a stone or a rock. So I scrub right. my skin with those. It's information for the body. Yeah, totally. and I don't stink. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't use deodorant either. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just about taking care of yourself. It's, you know, we, we eat bad, we're sitting on the couch. We, or this is what I always like to say, we're, we're working our nine to fives, right? Stressed out, um, drinking our coffees because we're not sleeping well and we're not eating well enough, so we're totally, our diet's all messed up so we can't function in the morning, so we need coffee, right? Stimulate the adrenals and right off the bat. so, you have no idea how bad that caffeine this, is for you. And especially the coffee though that people are getting, they're just going to Starbucks. And, and it's one of the most acidic things on the planet is coffee and cancer, all kinds of immune system diseases live, can't live in a, in a, uh, in a alkaline environment. Oxygenated environment, right? Oxygenated alkaline. And so everybody is doing all this caffeine to wake up. And you know, I always like to tell people, okay, here's the deal. If you had a horse and he couldn't go from here to here without you slapping him, if you can slap him and make him walk, he didn't get energy from slapping him. So you're not getting energy from the caffeine. It's just slapping your That's body awake to move forward when you, your body says, I don't have any fuel to do this. And if you don't have any fuel to do it, you're going to wear yourself down faster and you're going to get old and tired a lot faster. Right. So I'm a big believer in doing one of Johnny's grape juices, something really alkaline in the morning. And you may not feel that surge immediately, but you do it enough. Oh, uh, over you time, said yeah. you were a coffee drinker, right? I, I, not coffee, but energy drinks. I mean, mm. you name it. Monsters, pre-workout powders, whatever I could do because I was taking medication for all my sicknesses. I was drinking on the weekend, so I mean, I was never, I, I had adrenal issues. Big it wasn't time. this fine specimen lady sitting No, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> thank you. No, but um, yeah, I, uh, caffeine addict for sure. Yeah, and most people are addicted to it. You can hear people going to Starbucks and they have that menu memorized more so than they do their... Yeah. Um, but, but see, that's what I was saying. It, it, I always tell people to develop the habit of doing a green juice a day for a month. 24 to 32 like ounces a month. Once you develop that habit, I promise you, you'll feel the energy, your sleep will be better, you'll have more energy to do more in your day. Um, and the other thing that happens is because your body intuitively wants to not just survive, but it wants to thrive, it will go, hey, this is good. What else can I do? Exactly. What else can exactly. I do? Exactly. And you just become more connected. Everything's connected. So 
you start to awake a little bit, right? You start mm -hmm. to become more conscious. You start to want to be out in nature and doing the right things, being around the right people. Absolutely. It just all goes hand in hand. So it's a wonderful world to step into, folks, whether you want to dip your little toe in or you want to jump in full body. No matter what you decide to do, there's no right or wrong or good or bad. You know, and if I can do a little commercial, I do have a reboot class coming up. A very simple, gentle detox. I have a more rigorous one where we do 30 days, but I have a simple 10-day uh, reboot just to get people started. Uh, if you want to jump in on that, I know you see people one-on-one -on -one and you put people on juice cleanses and whatever. He's a lot more hardcore for the beginnings, but you know, it's all it's all what you're ready to do and what works for you. And you know what, even if it's not one of us, find somebody that resonates with you. Find somebody that is looking and feeling and doing what it is could work for you. Because right. I always say, I wouldn't go to a fat um, nutritionist, I wouldn't go to a ball sick hair doctor, dresser. I wouldn't go to a ball hairdresser, I wouldn't go to a blind ophthalmologist, I wouldn't go to a toothless dentist. So if there's somebody out there resonating for you, uh, this is what you need to do. And maybe there's many people, you know, it is there are, exactly. like we, and then we you just take teachers. Totally, totally. That's what I said. I was on YouTube and I found a bunch of people and then I found like three that I really resonated with. You being one of them, uh, the Life Regenerator, and uh, I like Arise. But oh, yeah, and, I and you just, and you just my, take what works for you, right? Victor Kovenskis and Arisa Thom are my teachers. They are phenomenal. But every, there's so much good information out there now. Yeah. You just have to disconcert. And if it resonates in your heart, then it's right for you. Right. And bottom line is the, the cure is in prevention, right? Yeah. It's in That's preventing. It's, cure. it's in preventing. It's not going to the store to buy pills to suppress your symptoms. It's preventing, drinking juices. People always say to me, they used to say when I worked at FedEx, they're like, what can I, can you bring me a juice for my sore throat? It's like, you already got the sore throat. It's not a magic, it's not just like a magic pill. You're gonna drink it and take it down. You wanna drink them daily to prevent it altogether. So when you, like you said, when coughing and germs are going all around, your body's strong. And, and I'm gonna real quick give you my, my feeling on the whole, why is it when one person has a cold in, in your office or in your school and then the whole school has it? And I've said this in a lot, uh, a lot of my YouTubes, but and it's not scientific, okay? But here's the deal, you ladies know when you get your period, not me anymore, when you get your period, all your friends get your period at the same time, all the girls, because we are symbiotically connected to I don't to know anything other. about that. Yeah, you don't have to That's <laughs> TMI. So, but, but no, no, it's not because you know what it no, is, I it, know, it explains kidding. that we are symbiotically connected, so one person starts to detox, because to me that's all the cold or flu is, it's the body cleaning itself up. Ha-choo, you got rid of some snot, throw up, you got rid of some uh, toxicity, diarrhea, you know, you don't want it, let it go. So you're, you're, the body is releasing and getting rid of everything, thank God that it can't use, it means it's working when you right. get a cold. So everybody gets a cold, everybody thinks the germs were jumping around in the street. And it's a fear factor too, I believe, too. Everybody, oh my God, the flu's going around, okay? You're gonna you get know, it next because, you know, but, it's... But, but there's, but there, no, there, there is a real answer to this because when one woman gets her period and we are symbiotically connected, every woman in that group gets her period, which is why they used to send all the women out to the huts in the forest and the jungle. They all had to go out at the same time because they all got them at the same time. But then you're in school and you make friends with this group of people, right? And all of a sudden your period's when their period is, right? Because you got mad at these girls. So the body, so when one person's body starts to detox and cleanse, another body goes, hey, this is a good idea. We need to get rid of some of this snot. You know, we need to get rid of, <coughs> we need to get rid of some of this stuff. And so they start, and then pretty soon the whole group it's cleansing. That's all that's going on. There's no, you're not that fragile that germs are jumping on you and all of a sudden you fall apart. That's like saying, I am pristine and perfect and clean and there's one little germ dropped on and it screwed up the whole thing. I mean, it's ridiculous. I agree. But you're motivated to feel better. And it's not even that I agree, I believe in it because obviously, like I said, I used to be sick all the time. My whole life, my whole life, always sick. Cold, allergies, flu, migraines, gut issues, and in the last four years, four and a half years, you know, nothing. Okay. Nothing, and I'm not, and I don't even like think about it. Like you said, you don't even know what I used to have. My my medicine cabinet used to have Excedrin, migraine, Tylenol, Mucinix, uh, Nyquil. I mean, you name it. But again, it was. I don't even remember now. It's. I don't remember what it is to be serious. So come on, join our team. I'm sure you're halfway there because you're watching us. Oh, they're halfway there. Or more they're than halfway, but some of you guys are on the journey. Don't lie. Yeah, and there is no such thing, right or wrong or good or bad. It's just doing something different. And you know what? You don't even have to listen to us. Make your body your laboratory. That's what I did. I made my body a laboratory. That's right. what I did. self experience Don't listen to anybody else out there. Anybody telling you that this is wrong or you don't go vegan because you're going to do this. 
Are you getting four grams of this and 22 grams? Right. How come somebody How many decided? calories are you getting? Right. You know, it, when you go to this lifestyle, actually, for me, it's being in God's plan. It's very simple. I don't have to think about exactly. it. Exactly. The just, laws of nature. It's, it's very simple. So anyway, hopefully this has been of some help unless you're in Hawaii and wondering what the heck are they talking about getting cold and sick. Right, right. Uh, because we are Living in Chicago. On the um, and uh, it, it's pretty prevalent. We were asking some of my uh, guests out there, my clients, and the, this is what they came up with. Yeah, this was the subject about. today. So if you have subjects that you'd like for us to discuss, we would love comment to below. Them. Comment below. Comment below and let us know what you want to see next because we're going to just keep doing this. I'm having fun. And we're going to be doing a retreat soon, right? Retreat soon. Yes, we've got it. We're, we're talking a, a place about doing a few retreats so you could come out. It'll be limited, I think, to like 10 people. It's fine. It'll be real intimate and real. It'll be, it'll be good. Really yeah. Good. It'll and be I've fun. got my reboot class starting up. Anybody interested? It'll be a nice, gentle. We're going to teach you how to poop very easily and, <laughs> and how to make your body alkaline. And what's, you know, a lot of times it's getting the one thing before the next thing and then your body just takes you on to the next thing so right. we're looking forward to spending more time with you totally i have so much fun doing this and i have so much fun hearing from you i even read his feed i mean it's exciting to, it is yeah to to be a part of this whole um social movement. media world yeah yeah because here's the deal you know i realized today i had some meetings and i said you know i knew what to do when i was a vegan in a non-vegan world i was all by myself 50 years ago right and now I'm learning from you and you people how to be a vegan in a vegan world. And that's pretty darn exciting. So thank you so much for joining Karen and Johnny Do It Raw. And we look forward to spending more time with you. You got anything else to say? No, I don't have anything else to say. Like I said, just comment below if you guys want more. Because I do lives and I ask you guys what kind of yeah. you know videos you guys He's want. He's very regular with his, his lives. Uh, I've, been, I've been off because I got the iPhone now. So I'm still trying to learn how to do that. <laughs> but... You're doing you're doing an event here tomorrow. I don't know when you guys will be watching. No, it's it. Sunday. Sunday. You're, he's doing. I might live stream it on Sunday. So yeah, watch him for the live streaming on Sunday. He's yeah. going to be doing a little speaking with Yvonne. Yvonne, yeah. yeah it's going to be uh, on crystal healing. Upgrading your energy. Yeah. That's what it's going to be about. That's going to be exciting. Spiritually uh, and through food. So, so they'll, he'll be streaming that here. So you know, just join us. We we want to be. We want you in our community. We want, we want to be, be your support you. system. Yeah. Because I know when I was getting into it, I I was looking for a support system. Can you imagine 50 years ago what it was like? Jeez. There was nobody. Else. OG like, over here. <laughs> I was nobody, but this is so <laughs> wonderful. So thank you once again, Karen and Johnny. Do it live. Love you guys.